Well, you do have some cities in South Carolina, um, but certainly very different. The, the city that comes to mind is Charleston, which, is, having spent quite a bit of time there myself, find that it often reminds me of the ancient world because something that's peculiar about the South, both charming and at times very ideologically problematic, is their ardent longing for the past in the sense that the best days are somehow behind us and unattainable and that modern developments are almost always dangerous and always threaten the way the world ought to be. And so you have in places like Charleston an effort to keep the past alive. It's often a very capitalistically motivated task because cities like Charleston derive so much of their income annually from tourism. You see a classicism, a, a, an obsession with keeping the way, the things the way they were, at least superficially, um, so as to keep the city in its own, it, it, as defined as it, it wants to be, as its memory, the golden haze of memory is one scholar of Southern history has defined it alive. And that trend really started in the 1920s, um, which is ironic because you have this push on the one hand to modernize. The, you, you bring jazz and you bring Porgy and Bess to Charleston. You also have this simultaneous effort to, to, to stop the changes. And so that I think that, that tension really defines Charleston and in less obvious ways defines the South more broadly, the, the, the more charming parts of the South, the, 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 the real music producing tension of the South, and, and I go at length about that because I think I am better able to appreciate that part of my own homeland, as it were, my own patria, because I have studied the classics and I see in cultures like Rome and, and also like Greece this, this constant interplay between tradition and innovation, the, the fact that tradition can become tradition within one generation and so you can have a very traditional society that still manages to grow and change and develop just because well their parents did it and so it can be tradition now and so this incremental growth that's always attended by this brooding anxiety that things are always declining tends to take a, 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 a haze of optimism in antiquity and in modernity too and, I, and classics have helped me appreciate that.